Hi guys. This video will be dedicated to the legendary and extinct PO49, Cornacridon Gold. Let's have a look from up close. So it's quite a dark pigment, but as soon as I put it under the microscope at 100 times and now at a 400 times um, magnification, it shines through as a beautiful yellow and bright pigment. So this is the pigment in its raw state. It's not a, uh, a liquid pigment or a pigment dispersion. This is a pigment powder, the dry version of it. So you don't see a lot of this online. Um, and I want to show you. Um, the first thing I was thinking when I was making this my very first time, it really reminded me of a pyrrhal pigment, pyrrhal crimson, um, in a way that it's, it's PR264, uh, and in a way that it, it lumps together, it's uh, somewhat hydrophobic, but it, it tends to lump together under the muller and on the side of the muller, it, it gets sticky, it's quite a thirsty pigment in the way that it needs uh, quite a lot of binder. Um, I'm speeding it up quite a bit uh, here, but you can see it sticks to the side of my muller quite a bit. And I need to clean my muller quite thoroughly since it leaves like the, the, the lines on my plate. Um, so it reminded me of that as a pigment as, as soon as I was working with it. And I don't have that very often when I work with the pigment that I think, you know, this, this really feels like the other pigment. Uh, apart from Yintico, which felt exactly like Yinmin, but um, for an extinct pigment, it was quite nice to recognize the feeling on the plate, um, to have a familiar feeling. So I knew what I was doing, at least. That's how it felt like. So it's leaving this beautiful Muller print-like patterns. And here as well, I obviously want to leave as little as possible on the plate. I want to make sure that I touch every pigment particle and disperse that well enough in my binder. You can see the beautiful, um, warm, fiery-like yellow shining through the transparency uh, of the plate. Uh, whereas here it looks like a almost like a light burnt sienna on the plate. It's it's quite a reddish warm brown um, in its mass tone here. Uh, in its transparency, it's a beautiful light yellowish color. And you know, I couldn't really resist, so I had to make a mellow print. There you go. It is a beautiful pigment. And it leaves a beautiful mark on the paper as well, as you can see. I might put this up for sale. Just keep an eye out on my shop. Um, let's have a look on my Hackman gauge where we are at at the moment of this lovely paint. It touches the 10 micrometers and I think it leads a little bit more building since it left some lines in it. So that means there are still some, some small lumps and I want to get this as fine as possible. So you need, well, the finer it is mold, the easier it dissolves, the, e the easier it wets, but also uh, the better it works on your brushes and the more paint it gives off. It's not that I can make this pigment any finer as it is, but I want to get all the little lumps out and get it as evenly dispersed as possible. So let's try again. There was a five to 10 minutes mull round that which I uh, sped up just now. Uh, let's see, that is better. So I'm filling a quarter pen here. Um, I will in the future, I have 
quite some pigment left from my extinct pigment uh, project, I will start selling these as quarter pens, half pens and dots uh, in my shop in the very near future. But let's swatch it. I'm using my own swatch template to see its transparency, its mass tone and its liftability. Small one is for how the pigment lifts. I'll do that when it dries. That one is for the wet on wet, how it spreads on the paper. Let me put it on wet paper and let's have a look with my spectrometer. On the dried swatch, look at that. It's almost like a perfect diagonal line towards a bright orange. Um, the spectrometer, obviously, you know, in one reading, it can't read that uh, its transparency is yellow, for instance. Uh, you can see some things in the line, but not everything. This was the process of genuine cornacridone gold. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.